Hello everybody, welcome to this week's On The Hook video. I am sea fishing proper for the first time ever in my life. Now to help me do this, I'm joined by James Madsen. He's no stranger to shore fishing. He does it all the time, fishes in matches. He's brought all the kit with him, all the things we're gonna need to fish into the night and then all day tomorrow. So this is gonna be special, I think. Now James has told me that we're gonna be fishing for species such as Huss, Smooth Hound, Rays, um, but in all honesty, he said we could probably catch anything off this beach at this time of year, given the amount of storms that the UK has just had. So yeah, let's see what happens. I'm really excited, let's go. So the light has faded really quickly as you'd expect at this time of year. I think you can just see the sun's pretty much just about disappeared behind me. Um, we've got the shelters up, they're looking really snug um, and James is just setting the rods up. So let's go and check out what we're gonna be doing this evening to try and catch some big fish. Okay, so here's one of the rigs we're gonna be using tonight. We've got a nice juicy launch bait there. We've got a uh, two three O's. That one's fixed. Done a dom off knot there. A nice, uh, nice solid bait. This is a two hook loop rig. So we've got a hook below the lead. The, and then we've got another single hook. Attached to another rig, we've got another single hook above the lead. Just quickly demonstrate the loop rig. Clips onto the impact release clip. And then we've got another clip there. You can see the loop formed and that is a nice compact rig for casting and when it hits the water that impact release clip goes, uh, releases the bait, one, one below one above the hook and we're going to put a nice juicy crab bait here on this uh, top hook. I've already peeled the crab, I've cut it in half, there's a nice bit of juice coming out. Grab some elastic and just bind that up. I'm just going to whip that on. Nicely onto that sequin. And press it down so it's a nice shape for casting. And that is that. Slide it off the bait tool. Got a nice streamlined crab bait. Had a really not a really good slat liner it's obviously hit the crab bait and uh, very unlucky because that's a good size hook didn't penetrate good news is didn't prick it so uh, the fish is still out there swimming about well there you have it half an hour in we've had our first bite so things are looking good let's hope that isn't the only action that we see this evening I really, really, really want us to catch some fish tonight. What have we got on here? Let's have a, I'm going to invest again. Double shot. Double shot of vermin. Could be a long night. <laughs> so what are these, James? These are dogfish. Ah, okay. If this was a match, I'd be happy as Larry. Oh, one's come off. That's one's a, fallen off. That's an added bonus. They're both hooked in the lip, which is ideal. Hold them like that. They won't take the skin off your hands. So there we go. First two fish of the night, two dogfish. Apparently they can be a bit of a nuisance, um, according to James, but um, really fascinating for someone like me who's never done this before. So two fish let's see what else we can get i uh 
Don't know if you can hear that. That is pretty, um, pretty wild. I'm so happy that um, I've got a shelter. <laughs> I've drank all my coffee as well, like a litre of coffee and we're like four hours in. Um, this type of fishing is definitely not for the faint hearted, um, but I'd imagine if you get it right, it can be like super, super rewarding. When it's cold, you need somewhere to keep you dry, otherwise it's game over. Your mind goes to being in your nice warm bed and uh, and yeah, and it's, it's, it's curtains. I've done enough nighttime sea trout fly fishing to know that you've just got to stay comfortable and warm. So um, yeah, to anybody who's new to this and they wanna try this out um, for the first time and you're on this journey with me, I would definitely recommend if you're gonna do a night session or a session where it's windy or rainy or the weather's just a bit dodgy, a hundred percent just invest in like some kind of shelter. We're gonna try one, we're gonna try putting one in the gutter in a minute. When I say the gutter, in about 15 yards. Oh, I've got a good bite there. Might have to leave you. Right. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna try chucking one in a bit closer. We've got a nice bait on here. We're, just, we're still going to use the loop rig, just simply not going to clip it up and I'm just going to flick it out 15, 20 yards into the gutter. We've got a nice bit of ground sea here. Um, that is a nice little joey mackerel bait. And I just like to take the head off and expose the gills, nip the tail off and just gets the blood flowing nicely. Some people like to leave them whole. It's night time, the water's chocolate. I just, I just want scent and that's a nice compact bit of scent there and then on the on the other hook I've got a chunk of launce to the head end again I, I, I knit the tail expose the gills and because it's on a single hook I've kept that bait a little bit more compact that's and a well, nice why, bigger why are you chucking it in the gutter right we're going we're going to go a bit shorter and quite often on this beach with weather with the sea like it is we've got a chance of a bass in close so we're going to give it a go don't try you don't succeed so uh, fingers crossed So good morning everybody, welcome back. We are on the beach again, it's nearly 8 a.m. I've had a little bit of sleep and a nice warm shower because I got to the point where I was absolutely Baltic last night. Um, so we left the beach around about midnight. James has been here for an hour already. He's had the rods out while I was sorting the camera stuff out. We're hoping for a really good day and if nothing else, the weather today is awesome. Um, so I think the temperature is gonna be really nice it's one of those lovely winter crisp days so let's see what we can catch for you So here we are guys and gals, it's mid-morning now and uh, <laughs> we've, we've uh, started as we've been meaning to go on with the dogfish. We've had um, maybe half a dozen already now, so James just caught two there on the same cast. So yeah, it's dogfish central. Um, we're hoping that we can get another species before the day's out. It's early doors, so fingers crossed. 
So we've um, had a bit of a lull in the action. It's uh, sort of getting towards midday now. So the dogfish have kind of gone off the boil, which has given us a little bit of a break. So James has got some pre-tied rigs he wants to show us. Um, and then we're going to rig up the Shakespeare rod. And then that's what I'm going to fish with for the rest of the day. So as Damon's a beginner to sea fishing, when you just start out, tying rigs can be a bit complicated. So these are some ready tied rigs from Shakespeare Salt. We've got two rigs here. We've got a single hook pulley rig and we have a two hook flapping rig. So the pulley rig clips up, the flapping rig doesn't. So let's get one of these rigs out and have a look. We'll have a look at the flapper first. A nice neat bundle. Carefully unravel it. There we go. So, put the lead on. Have a look at this rig. Very basic. Quite short snoods. I would say those snoods are probably around 16 inches, 14 inches. We've got one below the lead and one above the lead. So, this is going to be Damon's first rig of the day. We're going to bait it up with ragworm. Just pretty demonstrate now how he needs to do that. We're going to use two worms. Just going to thread them on with our fingers. You could use a baiting a baiting needle if you wanted to. Snap the tail off. And get a slightly bigger one. Go through the head. And we're just going to work this up so it's just over like so. Leave a bit of uh, tail on the bottom one for attraction. I'll show you the setup in a minute, rod and reel. This is a tapered shot leader. And then we've got a fastening on the end of the shot leader. Swivel on the end of the flapping rig. And it's a simple job. Just literally just clip that on. So this is a great rod for a beginner, it's the Salt XT at Beach Caster, it's a 13 foot rod. I was just uh, telling Damon actually, it'd be a little bit easier to cast as a beginner. A shorter rod is that you can move it through a little bit quicker than a longer rod. So it's a, that's a, it's a good size to start, 13 foot. Um, and then we've got a very nice fixable reel here. It's, it's a strong lightweight reel, fantastic for casting. It's got a, a nice shaped spool, slow oscillation for good line lay. It's a, it's a nice weight, it's, it's easy to fish with. Nice one. Cheers James. So there you have it, that's my simple uh, rig for uh, just starting out. Luckily I know how to cast already so that's not an issue. Um, so yeah, let's get it in the water. I'm gonna get a GoPro on my head and, uh, and start fishing. First cast of the morning. You reckon it's a fish? Yeah, that's a fish. Oh, no, it's come off. I mean, no, it is. There's something still on there, I think. Or not. <laughs> what is it? That was, that was not that fish. No, it wasn't. That's a pouting. That's a pouting. But you've had another fish on there, because I watched your rod go over slowly. I reckon that was a bass. Do you reckon? On your top foot, yeah. Goodbye, my little friend.
I made a pal. Hello. No, I don't think so. I think I was snagged. It sort of goes heavy, then light again, so I'm guessing no. Oh, a dogfish. <laughs> My first dogfish. Ah, look at that. We're going to unhook your first dogfish. Am I? <laughs> right, how'd you do that then? Wait for his tail to come up. Grab yeah. him like that. Yeah. Grab his tail like that. Yeah. And then just pull the hook out. So, well done. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Gilly. Got my own Gilly when I go sea fishing. <laughs> first dog fish, first pouting. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> what are these again? Pouting. Yeah. Well, everybody, I think that might be a very, very, very good way to end the video. A serving of two pouting and a side salad. There we go. They're beautiful little fish, aren't they? Well, there you have it. It's been a really, really enjoyable experience and big thanks to James over there who's just um, packing the gear away. Uh, I've, I've really, really thoroughly loved the experience of coming out here and trying sea fishing proper for the first time. Um, it's definitely something that I want to try again. So leave some suggestions in the comments. Um, uh, I understand that, you know, dogfish isn't everyone's cup of tea, but for a first timer like me, I've really enjoyed catching them, find them really fascinating. Who knows what's next? Maybe some rays, maybe some cod, some bass, who knows? But anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. Um, we'll leave a link in the description to all the gear that we've used if you want to check it out. If you are a beginner to this like me, please leave some questions in the comments. And uh, if you're an expert, please, you know, feel free to answer those questions. It's always nice to get the community going. And anyway, we will see you in the next one. Tight lines.